somehow one of the most feared and hated Apex glitches accidentally got added back to the game. And also, we've got a brand new Apex update tomorrow, so let's go over it. First of all, though, there has been a bit more drama somehow. It feels like Apex just keeps getting into more and more drama, and they're really not helping themselves, because only a few days ago, we got the Void Reckoning event trailer. And let me tell you, it's bad. First of all, in the trailer, Respawn basically revealed that there's no new content coming in this event, which is mostly skins. The only content is TDM, getting a 12v12 mode instead of a 6v6 mode. So not many people are classing it as content because it's an existing mode with just double the players. On top of that, the comments roasting the trailer literally have more likes than the actual trailer, which is just insane work. For example, the trailer has 5,000 likes and the top comment has 9,000 likes. But to make it even worse, the dislikes on this trailer are absolutely insane. It has 48 thousand dislikes. That means over 1 in 10 people who watched this video disliked it. This trailer is getting disliked on for a lot of reasons. First of all, Respawn are literally releasing this milestone event, while Apex is having its biggest drama ever due to Respawn trying to rework the battle pass in a way that makes it more expensive to the average person. Also, this is on top of a huge cheater issue right now, and Apex getting review bombed. The fact that Respawn haven't even addressed these issues, and are just instead releasing new events which cost an insane amount of money, is turning away and annoying a lot of fans. Not to mention in this event, instead of a really cool rare reward like the final fantasy sword we are literally getting a recolor of a reactive skin from season one it's bad but we'll talk about what to do in the event tomorrow more later in this video but first of all respawn have actually accidentally added a really brutal glitch back to the game which was plaguing the game a few months ago because a lot of you may remember back in early april there was a major glitch in apex where everybody's accounts got reset this ranged from people losing heirlooms and skins and levels to people genuinely being sent back to level one so why are we talking about it well it happened again but luckily at a smaller scale although it's probably worth checking your account still. You see, over the last 24 hours, there have been increasing reports of people logging onto Apex and their accounts are literally sitting at level one. They've lost every skin, every heirloom, and can't do anything. And as these reports have been ramping up and more people have been posting literal proof that this is happening to them, EA were forced to respond. This response was over on the EA forms where there was a form dedicated to the account reset glitch, where an EA community manager said, thanks for the report. While this sounds similar to an event that took place back in April, this does appear to be a separate for instance, so it's not currently something we can address the same way. We've passed these reports along so we can check what took place here. Thanks for the patience and we're checking into this further. And since this response happens, the reports of the issue have been decreasing, so I assume people aren't running into this issue anymore, although we haven't got confirmation if the accounts affected have been fixed. So just give your accounts a check maybe. Or just don't log on to Apex because it seems to be the approach a lot of people are taking. Because a worrying amount of people are quitting the game. Like, even if we look at some of the biggest apex youtubers there are a lot of them saying i'm quitting or at least i'm quitting until something interesting happens because right now it feels like the game has nothing going on and it really doesn't if we look at it from an outside perspective seriously what have we had this season we got alter a map update and solos at the start of the season but what else since then we got quads pretty fun and that's about it. It doesn't feel like there's a lot of stuff to keep us playing Apex. Luckily, the next season is only two weeks and a bit away, so hopefully we will get a bit more hype around Apex soon. But honestly, when the hype for next season starts ramping up, because it is getting a whole new map, I feel like it's going to be completely soured by the Battle Pass changes. And when the new season comes out, Respawn are going to miss out on a massive amount of players because they're simply too stubborn to accept their losses and realise that maybe the Battle Pass change isn't the best idea for Apex. I think the community has made their thoughts towards the recent state of Apex very clear, considering if we go onto the Steam page for Apex, only 8% of the recent reviews of Apex Legends have been positive, which is absolutely terrible, and probably puts Apex on the list of some of the worst reviewed products on Steam. It's just that bad. But at this point, clearly EA and Respawn don't care about reviews. They only care about money. So when this event does roll around tomorrow, don't buy anything if you're upset with the state of Apex. At the end of the day, the skins may be very cool, but if you buy the skins, you're show and respawn you like the event so they'll keep doing more if you don't like the event or the current state of the game don't spend money it's that simple even respawn developers said this if ea and respawn see they are earning less money because people aren't buying the recent events or battle passes they are going to make changes they're not going to kill the game no they're going to want to make changes so people spend money again we need the game in a position where people are happy to play the game for a long time because it's genuinely enjoyable
enjoyable and they're that happy they're willing to spend money on skins to support the game and simply the game isn't in that position for a lot of people right now. And at this point in the video you've probably realised that the thoughts around Apex right now are very negative. So have Respawn responded to any of the negative feedback like at all? Well the closest we've gotten is actually on Twitter where Respawn did this tweet of an in-game comic saying if you need any help just ask. And of course they got plenty of witty replies because the community is really pissed off right now and one of the replies said I need help fighting half a lobby of straight cheaters and you know this type of reply isn't rare under Apex's tweets. Right now all the replies to their tweets are basically dunking on them calling them stupid but weirdly enough Respawn hid this specific reply from their tweets because if you're not aware Twitter has a function where you can hide certain replies but anybody can view the hidden replies if you press this button right here. Don't ask it's a very dumb system. So immediately when people realised this, they got mad. Mad to the point where a post talking about this got a huge amount of likes and people started thinking, are Respawn deliberately censoring people complaining about the game? And the drama around Respawn hiding this comment got so bad there were literally articles being written about it. And weirdly enough, after this article released, Respawn unhid the comment. Which was good, I guess, but led people to believe one of two things happened. Respawn hid the comment because it was genuine value criticism of the game and then because of the backlash and not wanting to add more backlash onto the game they unhid the comment or they have a bot on their social media which hides nasty comments and the bot hid this comment because it thought it was offensive. It's not rare for brand twitter accounts to have a bot that hides comments and I'm pretty sure Apex does the same because under every single one of their tweets they have loads of hidden comments and 99% of them are just blatantly sexist, racist and they don't really need to be typed out so unfortunately this is a mystery we'll probably never get to the bottom of and it's it's also the only acknowledgement from Respawn so far that there is even drama around the game right now. Which is a bad thing because if your game's undergoing this much drama, it's probably good that you say something. One thing Respawn did respond to was people getting mad about duos being removed from the game for the whole season because if you're not aware, at the start of the season duos was replaced by solos and at the midpoint of the season duos was replaced with quads. And I think this is actually quite a big factor as to why the game is dying at the minute as well as the drama. Simply, a lot of people can't play the mode they want to play duos. A lot of people don't have two friends to play with or even three friends. They just have one friend that they hop on Apex with every so often and that has unfortunately been made impossible by the removal of duos. Of course, plenty of people can say, oh, just play trios and play with a random. But have you ever played with a random? Yeah, it's not good. And I genuinely believe this is one of the biggest factors to why this season has lost players so quickly and has dropped to play accounts not seen since season 10 of Apex, simply because Apex removed an essential mode from the game. With season 22 rolling around in less than a month, I think Respawn have learnt a lot of lessons. But unfortunately, there are still some lessons that need to be learned. Do I believe that Apex can come back from this world record slump that it's in right now? Yes, I do. But Respawn seriously have to change a lot up. This new monetization stuff, get rid of it. Milestone events, we don't need them. Universal items, we don't need them. Find new awesome ways to monetize the game, like with new types of skins that evolve with your kills. Or even, make prestige skins worth it. Instead of being a bundle of three skins, make prestige skins level up with every two kills, or every 500 damage. Just do something cool. All of these recent expensive cosmetics haven't been cool, they haven't had a good gimmick. They're just heirlooms that work on every legend. Or a bundle of skins that people only know as being expensive. Respawn, this needs to change. You can earn a lot of money from this game, you've just got to be a little creative and maybe put a bit of work in.